let's return to This Week in America. Here's your host, Rick Bratton. Welcome back, everybody, Coast to Coast, This Week in America. From the author of the highly acclaimed We Are Life Beaters, Prophet Allison Michael Despine, comes his newest, To Fishes from the River Nile. Prophet Despine is a non-denominational Holy Spirit teacher. He's a hymnist who sings and writes all the songs, a gifted writer. He lives in Shreveport, Louisiana. And here to discuss Two Fishes from the River Nile is author, Prophet Allison Michael Despine. Uh, Prophet, welcome to the program. It's a lot to talk about. Great to have you with us on the program today. Thank you very much. Looking forward to this. Thanks. It is our pleasure, and we'll give you information on this book and where you couldn't get it, and information on the prophet as we we go through the program today. First of all, the title: Two Fishes from the River Nile." This is such an important story that that you're telling. What inspired you to write the, this book? Where did this book, Two Fishes from the River Nile," where did this come from? Well, that came from the Lord Jesus. He's been telling me that a long, long, long time before I even, uh, realized that it was it was the name of uh, for a book. Because he keep telling me, uh, "I'll give you two fishes from the River Nile," but I didn't know that it would have been a book because at that time I was sleeping on the streets, and I didn't even write the first book yet either. But when I finished wrote the second book, before I could finish it, that's when he reminded me of the title, Two Fishes of the River Nile, set me down to write all the chapters and get ready to write the second book. Now, that's where that came from. I mentioned the, the first book, which is really done well, We Are Life Beaters. And you'll find both of these books at Amazon, the publisher, workbookpress.com. We'll give you that as we, as we go through the conversation. Talk about that. When you got this message, you were saying that you were on the street. You've really gone through a lot in your life. And now uh, you're sharing your messages. Prophet Allison Michael Despine is our guest on the program. I'll spell that if you're going to Google. Talk a little bit about your background and where the, these ideas came from. And when you realized these messages, these dreams you were getting were divinely inspired. Well, the last time I was sleeping on the streets was 2016. I had a, did have a place I was staying in, but then I had to leave and go, which is mentioned in the second book, Two Fishes from the River Nile. And I was sleeping on the third step, and the Lord um, gave me that dream, Two Fishes from the River Nile. It came in a vision, but I didn't know it was a book, because he didn't say that. And that was God himself now. So one day I'm walking from a, a motel I was staying in in Shreveport to the library. I always go to the library. <laughs> <laughs> and the Lord said, I gave you a book. That's Jesus talking to me from inside of me. And then I, I'm, I'm thinking, what is this book that the Lord is talking about? And then he mentioned it. We are life beaters. Now I know that that was a book. And as I entered the library, I pulled out a full scalp, blank sheet, made me do that. Write the title, write the 12 names of the chapters, and that's when I went to that book. And that book took me the quickest time, about four months to write. With us on the program is Prophet Allison Michael Despine. Despine is D with a, a, a slash there, E-S-P-Y-N-E. Uh, the book available at Amazon. I mentioned the publisher, workbookpress.com, of course, uh, Barnes & Noble, all of the usual places, a link on our website. So the title, Two Fishes from the River Nile, this actually came to you. This is not your title. This is a, a title that was given to you by God. By Jesus, yeah, the second title, by yes. Jesus, the first one by God, yeah. That's just amazing. And briefly, give us a little bit of the message, why I mentioned this was an important book. And it's a book that obviously uh, took a while for you to, to get the message and then to write this book, four months to write the book. What is the main message? What do you hope people take away after they read Two Fishes from the River Nile? Well, I believe people should take away, you know, there's a lot of, ill that the Lord made me see with my bare eyes. A lot of destructive stuff. But he don't allow me to say everything in in any one book. 
So when he took me around all across America, something he, he would not always share with me why he's doing stuff, and he knew I wouldn't question him because I never questioned him, not even for a split second. In, in my whole walk with the Lord, I never questioned him. So he would take me to the to the Greyhound station. He says, we're going to to this state or this city. And I, when I open my pocket, I always have the fear. And extra's over. Then I came to realize that he was teaching me something here too. That my cup one day will run it over. <laughs> yes. As we are talking, you see, people don't understand that when they accept Jesus, body, soul, and spirit, loving with all their mind, all their heart, and all the soul, then that's when their cup will run it over. Not when they think that they're truly loving some loving God, which they have to love somebody who they see every day before they can get to Jesus. The world is lacking of that. Yes. Yeah, people talk, love, talk, but... Uh, are they showing it in their deeds? Are they showing it in their daily lives? And and those are the things that he been showing me, but he would not make it clear to me until it becomes clear to me. Now he comes around uh, and gives me the final answer. And the book is published, and it's Two Fishes from the River Nile. We'll give you, again, information, the title. If, uh, if you Google that, you'll find Amazon, Barnes & Noble, uh, all of the usual places. And it's interesting, this began with the library in a, in a blank page, and the, the chapters came to you. Talk about that, that process. That would be intimidating. You feel you, need, you have to write this book. <laughs> well, and, it's, it's not intimidating. The Lord always reassured me. But uh, what yes. I receive from him, a lot of people cannot do it. He always reassured me that. I can't tell you why I can actually do it, but I suppose it came from my years of sufferings. Always wanted to become a doctor medically to help the poorest of the poor. That was my goal in life from a, uh, from a child, from a baby but could never reach that goal until one day I realized on my own now that I don't have the gift of chemistry and biology. And then the, then the reading, I lost that gift too. But all that is in the book too. I yeah. lost the gift, but I didn't know that it was a gift that I lost it. See? And the story, as as the prophet says, is in the book, Two Fishes from the River Nile, the first book, uh, We Are Life Well, readers. the first book got part of that in the second book. Yes. Uh, you can find both of those at uh, Amazon and on our website, thisweekinamerica.us. There will be more information uh, there, so you can link on to the Amazon page and get information on uh, the prophet, our guest on the program. When did you receive the gift of the Holy Spirit? When do you? When did this all start for you? This this remarkable journey that you're on. Well, I I was working at a cemetery, Mayajin Cemetery. Then I then the Lord allowed me to to leave and go on my own now. And then I walked into this apostolic church, and the pastor there singled me out and laid his hand on me, and then I felt like a whole rock in my belly broken up. And that's when I received the Holy Spirit. And that's where now I was called. That was in 1998. That's three months later, I was called to preach the word. And that's when the Lord took me for out of Philadelphia with his directions and take me to Georgia to meet a preacher man who was looking for me in the mall walking on the sidewalk. And when he saw me, he said, I saw green, so you got to be the minister that God has sent to me. And I realized he's the one. Yes, because I was carrying 50% of the message. He brought the other 50. He put me up in a motel for about three weeks. And when he couldn't afford the rest, he took me to his house. He had a vacant bedroom, and he and, he, he and I, and his wife and children, spent some time there. But the Lord didn't allow me to stay in, in with him or in the church. 
he allowed me to do it just for about a few months, and then he took me out after that without telling me that he's going to take me out. He's just saying, let's go. That's it. <laughs> oh, wow. And then uh, I'm off to the wilderness. That's just 19, early 1999. Yeah, so, so I only spent three months with my pastor. That's it. <laughs> that's just it, an amazing story. Our guest on the that's program. Just, Yes, is Prophet yeah. Allison Michael Despine, and Allison is A L L Y S O N. Michael Despine is D. We've got an apostrophe there, and then E S P Y N E. All of this on our website. And if you Google the, the name of the book, you'll get uh, information on the Prophet and information on this other book as well. It's Two Fishes from the River Nile. How did it, how did you feel after receiving the Holy Spirit? What was this like personally for you? Well, I thought when I was in the church before, the Lord took me away from the religious church, which is a name I don't want to call. It's in the book. And um, being staunch in that church, you know, flipped me over because they, they said that you already got the Holy Spirit. But when I received the Holy Spirit, now at age 46, I realized that the church was wrong. Because this time, Jesus is talking to me from inside. I never experienced that before when I was at the other church. It just ended and that's how I came to realize that there's a mix-up with when people say they do have the Holy Spirit or those who believe that they got the Holy Spirit. And then you, how did this come, the, the message come to, to be a writer? How did he, pre, how did Jesus prepare you for, for authorship, for, for being a, a writer? Well, he knew that my, he knew that I lost the gift for reading, which he reinstated, which he gave me back now when I was called to preach. That's when he emptied my head out, and that's when I knew that Satan was living in my head. That's when he called me to preach. So he would send me to the library and he would make me read the books that I always wanted to read. <laughs> yeah. All the encyclopedias, world book, and Britannicas, but he made me focus on the encyclopedias, world book. And he would make me read, read through them, read through them until I get whatever it is he wants me to get out of it. And then after that, he started me off into writing. He always make me do something first. You see, he said, I, I call you to preach, but he didn't know that I would have put prophecy in your life, so I named you a prophet. You did, I call you to preach, now you're prophesying, you didn't know I would have given you the gift to write and sing your own hymns, but I gave you that too. I also gave you the gift of order and miracles, which you didn't know that you were doing at the time you were doing it. See, you would always wait a long time and then bring back stuff to me, years that I did, and that's how I came to realize that the miracles were happening a long time ago. It's just such a but remarkable you story. On spot. <laughs> well, yeah, I'm just absorbing all of this as the prophet Allison Michael Despine is is talking about his life and his latest book, Two Fishes from the River Nile. So as you were writing, actually going through all different phases of your life, Jesus speaks to you, and and he was guiding you, obviously, as, as you were writing the book. He was speaking as you were writing. Yes, as I am writing, he's telling me what to write. <laughs> yes. And he's laughing, and then the tears are rolling down <laughs> from my eyes. <laughs> it's an amazing process. Because some of the stuff that I'm writing brings tears, you know. So. Where did all yeah, the... Yeah, I can laugh now. <laughs> oh, yeah, well, yes, yes. Now you can as, you, as you're thinking back on, on what you were going through during that period. Where did all this material come from as you were... Uh, writing two fishes from the River Nile. Where did the where did the material come from for the book? From the streets. All that I see never allow me to write on anything. 
You always tell me you got to see with those two big, beautiful brown eyes I give to you. Everything, things you didn't want to see <laughs> in your whole life, you have to see it. But I didn't know one day I'd be writing about it. And you've obviously you fallen back on all of those experiences. As you were going through the downs of your life as this was taking place and traveling and witnessing what you saw, did you have any idea what was in store for you, what Jesus had in store in your life? Uh-uh, no, sorry. Because you always said, I'll take you out, but there's no promise that I'll bring you back. Meaning, God can kill you because he can take your life. But when I was coming out of it, 2008, that was, that was just before 2016, when I was leaving California, you know, I heard God saying in the sky, excellent. That was when I was last seen or last visited California, 2008. And that's when I left California and came to, went to Dallas, Texas. He didn't allow me to stay there for too long. And then he slot me into Louisiana, Shreveport, and make me walk to Vivian, oh, okay. <laughs> some 50 plus miles. Wow. What, what is it like when you now know the vivid, clear purpose that, that he has for you? What, when did you realize that? It sounds like your life is, is guided by, by what you're being told. Yes, it is. But now I am discovering that you have to get over all these blocks or whatever it is that God allows Satan to put in yeah, your life. Yes. So you can get what he, God, the blessings that he has put there for you. You don't know how high you have to climb that mountain to receive it. So you can what? Feed the flock. Because everybody doesn't come from the same background or came from the same locality or some words that people use he doesn't even want me to use. Nobody knows where they're coming from. Some people have a greater walk, a greater height to climb, a greater ladder. Some people don't have all of that. Some people are blessed from birth not to suffer. But suffering is one of the fruits of the spirit, long suffering. So he always bring me back to that. And he always reminded me, I put you in long suffering, you never murmured one time. Yes, you took the pain, but you never told God one time to stop it or take it away. We've got a couple See, of... People must understand that. A couple minutes left in the program. What is life like for you now? And I'll say that based on the fact that you've been designated prophet, and with that comes responsibility. What is life like for you now? And how do you, how do you handle the, the, uh, the responsibility of, of being proclaimed a prophet? Well, I have to do the will of the Lord, whatever it is he's going to tell me to do. And whatever it is he wants me to do, I'm willing to do it all, because that's my purpose now, because I have to finish the job. It's a job that, and he keeps adding more work to me, and he keeps laughing because he's <laughs> saying there's a whole lot of ministers out there who don't want the ministries. Or who don't want the work that he has to give to me? Interesting. See, it's a sad world that we're living in. In other uh, words, yes. and he has to add it to me because he's giving strength in me on a daily basis to finish the job that he has given to me. Well, part of that and is the. the is the books the prophet has written, We Are Life Beaters, and the newest mm -hmm. Two Fishes from the River Nile. Are you working on a, another book at this time? Yes, sir. <laughs> okay, I sort of figured that was going to be yes. the answer. <laughs> yes, sir. <well. laughs> well, you'll have to let us know how that, are you close to, uh, to having that ready for publication? I am in the last three chapters already. I'm just going through corrections, that's all. 
Oh, okay. So hopefully we'll soon you the TV. we'll be able to, to talk about that book as well. The time has gone by so quickly. This book is uh, Two Fishes from the River Nile. This is the second book by our guest, the first book. And you'll find this available as, as well as We Are Life Beaters. Our guest is Prophet Allison Michael de Spain. Uh, Prophet then Allison, A L L Y S O N, Michael de Spain, D apostrophe E S P Y N E. All this on our website, thisweekinamerica.us. Book available the usual places, including Amazon, published by workbookpress.com, devoted to creating unique and innovative solutions. And again, all of this on our website. Prophet, it's been a pleasure having you on the program. Hopefully, a new book comes out, a new conversation as well for us. We'd love to have you back with us. Thank you so much for being with us on the program today. Thank you, too. Have a blessed day. You as well. The book is Two Fishes from the River Nile by Prophet Allison Michael Espine. You'll find all of this on our website, thisweekinamerican.us. And we're back on today's program after these messages. You're listening to This Week in America with Rick Bratton. More after this. 